Hi, Adam Robson. I'm the branch manager of the local Bendigo Bank. Uh, the Varsity Lakes Community Bank like to support our locals and part of that is we'd like to donate this DFIG machine to the Varsity Lakes Sports House for their members. Thanks Adam. Hopefully it's something we never have to use but knowing that we're heart safe here at the uh, Sports House is definitely reassuring for us and thank you very much to the Varsity Lakes Community Bendigo Bank. G'day, it's Scotty with you here from First Aid Accident and Emergency and I'm going to show you how to use the new CR2 defibrillator and how to access it here at the Varsity Sports House. So first of all, we've put it downstairs in the bathroom area because it's easily accessible for all the clubs. Your club should have been sent a PIN number, so if you don't have that PIN number you need to contact your club management. But essentially, using the PIN number to get in for our defibrillator if it's an emergency situation. And the defibrillator is located to the left, right on the wall just here. So quite simply, this defib has got all the signage supplied by First Aid Accident and Emergency in conjunction with VLCL and the Bendigo Community Bank. This alarm cabinet obviously will alarm. You need to grab your CR2 defibrillator and your patient prep bucket out of here and take it to the patient. Okay, so once you've retrieved your CR2 defibrillator and your patient prep pack, it's important to remember that in this patient prep pack, then we have a few important things to use on your patient that's being resuscitated. So first of all, in our patient prep pack, we have a CPR face shield if you decide to give breaths and compressions. We've got a surgical razor to remove the hair from your patient so the defibrillator works effectively. And we have a pair of medical shears as well. So this is used to remove the clothing from our patient. So using the CR2 defibrillator is quite simply three simple steps. It's called the chain of survival. And the first step that we've implemented in the chain of survival is calling emergency services as quickly as possible. using the Emergency Plus app because that locates you and you can let emergency services know where you are. Step two in the chain of survival is starting CPR on your patient. Now this is designed to build blood pressure and prevent brain damage while the defibrillator is being applied. You can either do compressions only CPR or breaths and compressions if you know the patient. The final step in the chain of survival is putting the CR2 defibrillator onto your patient. When you put this CR2 defibrillator on your patient, what you need to do is quite simply just open up the device, okay? And once you open the lid on this device, it starts to work. Adult mode. Remove all clothing from patient's chest. Removing the clothing with the shears. Pull red handle to reveal pads. Now you'll see these pads Look in the defibrillator. Look at pictures on pads. Driver's seat belt Apply position. pads to bare skin exactly as shown in the pictures. We need to continue CPR Press while the pads defibrillator firmly. is being applied. We use one at a time, we take it off and we put it on. The first one goes Apply on. Apply pads to bare skin exactly pad as shown in the pictures. On, and we need to push them Do through. not touch patient. Okay, stand clear. Everyone stand clear. While Analyzing we heart rhythm. Analyzers. Everyone clear. So everyone clear. Do not touch patient. Delivering shock. Shock delivered. Provide chest compressions to the beat. So now we continue the CPR. The heel of one hand should be in center. So there you have it. How to use the CR2 defibrillator for all the clubs here at the Varsity Sports House. It's as simple as one, two, three. And remembering, one, calling an ambulance and letting them know where you are. Two, starting CPR. And three, applying the defibrillator as quickly as possible while CPR is being delivered. If we fit those three steps in and the chain of survival is done correctly, we can increase survivability by up to 80%. So thank you very much to the Sports House, VLCL and the Community Bendigo Bank for supplying the new CR2 defibrillator for the Varsity Sports House Clubs.